is up YouTube and welcome to another crib zone excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more. Oh my gosh, KZE, you can't afford child support. Welcome, bitch. Welcome to the and in this one, I know a lot of people on the web are curious on YouTubers income. Today I will be showing you guys my channel which has completely blown up from zero subscribers to 70,000 subs in one year. I'm gonna be showing you guys my yearly analytics of 2017. I'm gonna give you guys the most important tips that I have learned from being a YouTuber. This video will be completely helpful for any of you guys interested in becoming a YouTuber. If this video helped you guys in any way, shape, or form, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. January 1st to January 31st, my very first month on YouTube, did go full-time YouTube since the beginning of January. This is what a channel's analytics looks like. We have an impressive 27-minute watch time, an average duration of 1.55. I lasted longer than my ex. My income was zero dollars for a really long time show you guys exactly how long it was zero dollars for here's my analytics for January 1st through June 30th so almost seven months so for nearly seven months I got paid six hundred dollars if you're looking to become a youtuber for the quick money there's much easier things you could do for easy money this is when I first started to gain 34 cents it says right here unidentified video that's because my very first video actually did get taken down I'm pretty sure it was just because the way I labeled it and everything it was a bit too harsh for YouTube starting 6-13 as you can see it had a huge spike on my income of 31 doll hairs so this is when I started to gain a little bit of views on one video in order for your channel to start gaining subscribers and income one of your videos will have to blow up you guys have to remember that during this whole time I was constantly pumping out videos I was gaining zero dollars once one of your videos starts to get a little bit of attention that that will lead to the viewers watching more of your other videos. I'm about to show you guys my whole income for 2017. This was my yearly income for all of 2017. As you can see, on the month of October is when I had my highest paid day. On September 30, I actually got paid $427. If we take a look at the graph, this video right here, Reunited, Siberian Husky breaks down crying after being booked out of jail. This video made me $295 in one day. I was pretty excited when this video blew up. As far as how do you know when a channel blows up, it's pretty obvious when a channel blows up. You start getting a lot of comments on the video. After the huge spike, of course, the views are gonna go down. Once one of your videos goes viral, your income will steadily increase. Say you're earning $50 a month on YouTube. Once you get a viral video like this, even when the views die out, you'll start gaining a little bit more money. Just little by little, you'll start increasing your income. Your job as a YouTuber is to keep trying to get more of those viral videos right there. Those are the ones that are gonna significantly improve your channel. This day was when I blew up the most. If we go to subscribers, on the day 9-30, which was when I gained $420, gained 1,810 subscribers. That is the most subs I have ever gained in one day. That's insane. Average view duration has always stayed constant. The amount of views I got was 9,971. That's a good amount of views. Take for granted that I went half the year without getting any money. So this is pretty much what it's gonna look like once you start a YouTube channel and then the changes of a viral video. For anybody looking into a YouTube channel, I highly encourage every single one of you. There's only more and more people joining the network. There's no better time to start anything than right now. I will be showing you guys exactly how to break YouTube. By this point, I'm 1.4 months into doing YouTube full time and I have completely broken down the system. I know how the system works and I will be be teaching you guys everything I know. Firstly and most importantly, the thing you have to do is you have to have a certain niche. Now what a niche is, is it could either be dogs, skateboarding, video games, babies, all of those are niches. Something that people are into. In my case, my niche is animals. My channel is an animal channel. That doesn't mean you have to stick to your niche. Once you have a good audience, you could branch out and, and reach different niches. That's the only way you can extend out of your niche range and grow significantly more. Once you have your niche, once you have what you will be making videos about, I do have a parrot which is known as an Indian ring neck and I've only made about three videos on him. If I wanted to break the internet and completely dominate the Indian ring neck category, it's pretty simple. KZE, what exactly 
is SEO, search engine optimization. It's what everybody is searching for on Google and since YouTube is owned by Google, all you have to do in order to research this is open up a private tag and search up your niche and what you will be making videos about. For this example, I'm gonna be typing in Indian ring neck. This right here is the SEO. Indian ring neck for sale is the most searched thing on Google once you type in Indian ring neck. Indian ring neck parakeet, the second. Indian ring neck lifespan. Diet, blue, size, talking, parrot price, colors for sale near me. What you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to take all of these SEOs right here, which is what people are searching for. You're gonna have to make videos using these as the title. Now, of course, they have to be relevant. This is the Google SEO. Get a notebook and write all of this down, starting with the SEO. Now, do the same thing for YouTube. This is the highest searched SEO for YouTube. Indian ringneck parrot, Indian ringneck, Indian ringneck talking, Indian ringneck parrot talking. In order to break YouTube and quickly escalate both subscribers and views, you're gonna have to take this SEO, put it on your thumbnail, put it on your tags, make the video relevant to what you're titling it. Most importantly, you're gonna have to need a very appealing thumbnail. Thumbnails and the title are everything. Let me tell you, they are everything you need the most attractive thumbnails you can possibly create. Exactly how do I make the videos? First things first, you have to film a video. After you film a video, you're gonna need editing software. The editing software that I use is Vegas Pro. Was pretty pricey, it was $500. If you own a Mac, iMovie is perfectly fine, it's very simple, and it's free. One of you guys did send in this badass gaming mouse, which I actually have customized in order to make editing much faster, so thank you for that. Like everything, it's gonna take some getting used to. Go ahead and research videos on how to edit. Once you have your video edited, the second most important thing will have to be a thumbnail. I do use Photoshop. This is a $20 monthly fee. If you're a student, which I said I was, if you're not a student, it's $50 a month. There are free alternatives. The software that I used to use before this is known as GIMP, G-I-M-P. That thing is completely free and it's it's amazing for creating thumbnails when you're creating a thumbnail for YouTube The ideal size is 1280 by 720 this here is Photoshop The only difference from this and GIMP is that this absolutely just destroys GIMP with the speed you can do everything since GIMP is a free system It has a lot of restrictions Photoshop extremely recommended if, if you're trying to start off extremely professional Photoshop is a must. That's what I use for thumbnails. This is the upload screen on YouTube and this is what it'll look like when you're about to upload a video. Like I said, you need the SEO on your title. Indian ringneck talking. Since that was one of the SEOs. The first three lines on your YouTube channel description are the most important. The title, the description, and the tags all combined is should be the phrases that people are looking for. A really nice tip for you guys, type in your niche's SEOs as your permanent tag. In order to do that, this page, everything you type in will be, will be used for every video. So I have my PO box, my Patreon link, Instagram, Twitter, and my wish list on Amazon. This description is in all of my videos. If you are using affiliate links, you do have to state that down below and I do use affiliate links. So if you keep looking down in my description, I do say affiliate links earn me a percentage of all money. So feel free to go on an Amazon shopping spree after clicking the links. This is where your permanent tags are. What you have to do is type in Indian ring neck and then type in a comma, it'll make the tag for you. Like I said, the description, the first three lines of the description are the most important. Type in some strong SEO search terms that you think people are searching for that'll make your video pop up in their suggested. So on the description, I'm just gonna repeat what I wrote. Fill this up with three lines because all of this will be the most important three lines. For the tags, go ahead and do the same thing. It's all right to use more than one word. You can use Indian ringneck parrot talking. You could use, just imagine what people will be searching for in order for your channel to be recommended. This is when experience comes in. Over time, you will get better and better at posting videos. If you are trying to see nice results, in order to see the best results for your YouTube channel, you need to constantly post videos, constantly keep improving. Notice what your audience likes watching and focus on what they like to watch. If your audience likes to watch Indian ringnecks screaming at the top of their lungs, make sure you make videos about that. That's all the tips I have for this. I hope I hope this video was helpful for you guys. We're currently at 94,000 subs, so I'd like to thank every single one of you guys. Go down to the comments, let me know what was the most helpful part. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more.
Peace. I'd like to take some time to thank my current Patreons. If you guys haven't checked out my Patreon, I do have a couple public pictures for you guys. If you guys would like to check them out, go ahead and check out my Patreon. I'll throw the link down in the description. If you guys would like to support the channel, I do have a couple tiers. So go ahead and check out my Patreon if you guys are enjoying the content. Like always, guys, thanks for watching. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZE underscore production.